I used to think that I needed someone behind the camera every time I took photos or videos. Over the years, I learned how to master the technique of taking my own pictures. I know exactly what I want, and with just a tripod, camera, or even a phone, you're able to achieve everything on your own. So today, I'm going to share with you my top 12 tips on how to take even better photos by yourself. These are all super creative ideas that I've found on TikTok, Pinterest, Instagram, so I hope you guys like them. If you do, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to tag me at Fashion by Ali if you try any of these photos. I would love to see them. So without further ado, let's hop into this video. Go! Woo! Now I wanted to show you my equipment that I usually like to use when I'm taking photos by myself. So I just have this baby tripod. I have a link for you guys on my Amazon store down below, so be sure to click that. This is my brand new vlog camera. I'm obsessed with it because it's so wide. You can get a great selfie. It has a flip out screen, which is amazing. I haven't had a flip out screen camera for probably like two years now. And now I can see myself, see what I'm doing. Amazing. And it has Wi-Fi in it. So you can connect to your phone and then use your phone as a remote. Again, I like to use my phone to take a lot of selfies and portrait. <laughs> yes, I'm that girl. <laughs> For a while, I was really struggling to take pictures with my DSLR. I always thought that I needed someone to help me take pictures because it doesn't have a viewfinder, so I never know what I look like, and I had a really hard time focusing. But did you know you could use your phone as a remote? To find the Wi-Fi setting on your DSLR, just go to the wrench tool, click on communication settings, built-in wireless, and then enable your Wi-Fi. Okay. And then now on your phone, turn on the Bluetooth. So I just connected my phone. I can go all the way back here. I can position my body and then I can try different angles. So I like extending one leg out and then one in. <laughs> that was way too short. Okay, and I'm blurry. The next photo is inspired by Kylie Catch. I love all of her photos on Instagram. In this photo, she has a mouthful of sprinkles and then she's just sticking her tongue out. It looks really fun and whimsical, so I'm going to try to replicate that shot and let's see if I can do it. Okay, Bella, you gotta move. So we also have some sprinkles. So don't be afraid to try something new because self-timer photos are fun and no one's there to judge you and you get to be as creative as you like. Next up, I wanted to try a kissy selfie. So on the mirror, I'm going to kiss it with a few different lipstick colors. That way I create like an ombre kissing effect. And you guys ready for this? <laughs> Look at this giant lipstick from NARS. I don't know if I have enough lipstick on. <laughs> so make sure your mirror is clean. Oh no, there's nothing! Oh. It's a sad kissy face! So 
Christiana and I are matching today because Ooh. we're going to a cute dessert cafe in the marina. We're matching. An all pink kind of photo shoot. <laughs> and then I have like a white top on. So cute. We are having dessert. It's my breakfast. So now we're gonna try to take our photo using just this tripod. And I'm controlling it on my phone. Look at the salmon avocado toast. Matcha crepe cake. This mango bingsu. Japanese breakfast. by yourself but since I have Christina I feel so much more brave yeah it's harder to get robbed when there's two of us if you have a tripod and a really nice camera just do it safely in a neighborhood where you know that someone won't steal your camera location which is here in Burlingame. I love this beautiful pink nail salon. So my next tip for you guys is to, instead of shooting a photo straight on, try angling yourself because that way it creates a more dynamic shot. So another tip is to add motion to your photos by either wearing flowy clothing or throwing flower petals or like walking back and forth. That way photos look so much more interesting than a static like stiff standing shot. The next photo tip is to always take a test shot. If you can't get yourself in the photo for the test shot, have your friend, a family member, hold flowers or even like a stuffed animal does a really great job. Last but not least, I wanted to do a pose refresher. I feel pretty awkward with my hands. I never know where to put them, especially when I'm sitting down. So don't do this because it makes your body look a lot shorter, but turn your body at a 45 degree angle and bend one leg. Here you're creating triangles with your body that looks way more flattering. So that was 12 different ways that you can get more creative with your photos all by yourself. I really like taking my own photos and videos because I can create the moment that I envision in my head. There were definitely a lot of fail moments where I really wish I had someone else helping me click the photo. I'm just happy I was able to accomplish so many different shots and angles all by myself. Comment down below and let me know which concept you like the most and the one that you want to try. Be sure to tag me in your photos at Fashion by Ali. I love you guys and I'll see you next week. Bye!